hello guys and welcome to my channel so today i'm just gonna show you how we update the flutter applications in play store okay so this is when you have already uploaded the application and then you want to update it okay so first let's go in our play store console here so what you see here is just a home of our play store console here i'm gonna select one of my applications here so here the reason why i want to update it it's because uh, it's got this message here that i need to update the api level okay so what i'm gonna do to update this first you need to go to release overview over here and then from this screen here you have to click on release dashboard okay so let's go over here so here that's where we're going to make a new release okay so let's leave this here and then go in our code okay so let's minimize i mean let's open our code so now here we need to do like the change that we need to do and then we update okay so the changes that i want to do right now is in the, you go in android app and then view to gradle so here you can see that I've got this as minimum version to flutter.minimum version which is not recommended. I need to put the minimum SDK here. So I'm going to change this to 21 and then recommend target SDK. I need to target the latest Android. That's when uh, App Store is going to allow me. Okay. So the latest Android is version 14. Okay. So here it's target SDK version 34. Okay, so this is going to be the changes that I want to make, and then that's all. Okay, so this is all my changes. I'm gonna save this file. Okay, so once I save this, I can go ahead and close this. Now, next, I need to come to pubs.tml file because I'm updating the application, which means I need to always change the version number here. So you can see that this is my current version of the application. I want to change this. Okay. So here I'm going to change this to version 10, okay? So what I'm going to do is, this I'm going to leave it like this, but here I'll have to change it to 10. Uh, uh, I'm going to say 10 plus 10, like this. So this is going to be my new version number, okay, for this update that i'm doing and then after i change this i also again need to save this okay so once i save i can close so it's it's just loading here let's just let it finish All right that's saved we can go ahead and close that now the next thing to do is to open up your terminal now here on the terminal at the root of the application what i'm gonna do first i'm gonna run the the code flutter clean just to make everything cleaner clean it out so right after this code the next thing i'm going to run now is to build the uh, app bundle okay so i'm going to run flutter build app bundle okay now i'm going to click enter this will build the app bundle the one that you upload now as an update okay so we just need to wait for it so i'm just gonna fast forward the bit over here All right, now the signed up build is created, so you can see that it's saved inside this location. So what we need to do is just to come up here to that location. I'm gonna minimize that location is inside the app. I mean build app outputs bundle, and then release, and then app release. So here it's going to be inside this build. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna right click on this one, and then review in Explorer. So here I'm going to go inside build, app, output, bundle, release. So this is the, the update that we want. Okay. So another important thing to do is when you have changed something before you create this release, you need to test your application again. Okay. 
just to make sure on the devices on the emulators okay but i have already done that myself so let's go ahead and update this so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna minimize this and then minimize this also next is i'm going to create here the new release okay so i'm gonna click here so here you can see that we need to put the app bundle that we've just created so i'm gonna open that back and then what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna drag and drop it here so here we just need to wait for it to upload all right so once the upload is done we can come down here and then we can see that our upload is here we can see that this is a new version that we've just put okay so the next thing to do is just to go and click on next here also we just need to save so once we save now we need to go for review okay but before that we can also add some uh, release notes okay so if you want to add some release notes which of course we should add we need to go back so let's click on cancel for now and then here on release where you can also get here when you just come to production here and then release okay so here we want to uh, to change to have changes in our new version so you have to click on manage changes and then here we scroll all the way down until we find these release notes okay so we can edit the release note and then here we're going to release name is going to be that version and then you can add your release notes here so i've already written mine i'm just gonna copy them from where i've written them and then paste it here so i've just pasted my release notes here and then i'm gonna save okay so that's how we can add some release notes if you forget to add just don't forget you come beside now after we add our release notes we can go back to production here and then here we just need to come to go to publish overview because we have done all the changes that we need to do from this pub publish overview we just wait for it to load and then we want to send one change to for overview so now let's click here we are ready to send this change so let's just click send changes for overview so that's about it we have just uh, sent uh, the changes now we will just wait for play store to review it okay now if we go back to production here or you can see uh, even just when we go to release overview here if we come down here you can see that uh, this version is in review so it will take us maybe it will maybe take two to three days and then our update is going to be live be live so that's it guys about this video and uh, if you like this video please consider leaving a like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this